Welcome back, everyone. And this time, we're actually going to get around to start building a big ship now. Uh, last time we got distracted because our run for resources ended up with a couple of crashes and then we had to build a recovery ship. And then the recovery ship didn't work, so we had to rebuild the recovery ship. We managed to recover this thing. So the Herald is now sort of on its side. That needs repairing. The We haven't got a name for this yet. But this has been redone, so after the last recording, I made some tweaks to this. So what we've done is we've lowered the two cockpits and we've actually connected the cockpits up to an air intake, so an air vent, so you don't suffocate while you're in your cockpit, which was a major design flaw beforehand. And we've given it some nice lights as well. So a few changes there. But I think to start with, we need to get the Herald either scrapped or back up and running. And we need to get that magnesium over to the base and meanwhile start building our lunar transport. My poor ship, dude. <laughs> I know. I think in personally, I mean, I think it would be fun. It might be a bit painful for you, but it would be fun to build a grinding pit drop that in, grind it back up into components to be reused, and then mm -hmm. we could 3D print a new one. I mean, we could use a constructor, like a ship constructor anyway, so. Yeah, okay, so yeah. we'll start that. with that. Okay, so all we need to do to start with, um, we need to find a conveyor port that's connected to the base. I think there is one right here. So we can build yeah. off this out to the side and then over here, I think this area here, we can build into a grinding pit. So we're gonna need some conveyors coming out of there to about maybe here where I'm standing. Actually, maybe mm -hmm. a bit past your Herald because we're gonna have a problem with the Herald. I'll move the Herald, I'll move the Herald. So build it out to about here. And then what we'll do from there is start building a grinder wall. Uh, oh, you, you, you're, you're oh, oh, just let go. Yeah. Mm, you're, you're only locking one side still. Oh, fuck. Um, um, okay. <laughs> That's not how I wanted this done. No, uh -huh. I, I hope you look into the going truck. No, that can be the first thing to go into the grind pit, I guess. <laughs> Uh, do you want to turn the drills on while you're over there? Just press the reset oh, yeah, sure. button. Big green button. Um, so we're just going to build like a floor of grinders and then a couple of sloped walls on each side. And then you just drop a ship in and it will just convert it all back into components and put it back into inventory for us. <laughs> okay. Okay. Like this? Yeah. I mean, the ships that we're dropping in are not massive, massive. Yeah, yeah. Um, but the idea is then if we pick anything up, like any drones or pods or anything on the way around, you know, like we could just drop them in here rather than having to manually grind them down each time we see one. Seven, eight, ten. Yeah, ten yeah. works. Yeah. Plenty now. Yeah, you can box I think it so. Off. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do 11. Okay. Don't all of these have to be like the this thing right here below me? What is this? No, because the grinders can all interconnect. Function? Yeah, the, the grinders can all interconnect with each other. Oh, okay. But what I'll do is I'll this one, just this one. I'll do like that. Oh shit! Mm hmm. I just ran out of fuel. <laughs> Um, I'm going to have to grind one block out and put it back in. Oh, aren't that thirsty? Yeah. I'll put it back. <laughs> oh, I'm running out of energy. Um, when we built the big ship, because it's going to have mm -hmm. like lots of inventory and stuff on it, I'll put the inventory management script on. Uh, which does what? Um, it'll assign purposes to all your cargo containers. It'll automatically move things 
like to the correct cargo containers, like your ammo is in one, your, your components are in another, your ores in another, and so on. But then what it'll also do is anything that's missing, like so if you're low on anything, like say steel plate, it'll queue it up for you and it'll prioritize what's needed most in the queue. So it'll move your queue around for you to keep you with always having the components you want. Uh, I think we need a viewing platform on here as well. Stairs. I just decorated catwalks. Yeah. Oh, actually, I'm wondering if it's a good idea or not, because sometimes you can end up with components and stuff flying out at high speed. You don't want to get hit by one. Okay, I think I might need to build a new cargo container. Um, yeah, not a bad idea. Oh. Sorry. Uh, I'm going to build one there as well. Yeah, a minute. I'll wait till you've moved. Right. Once I've got this next uh, cargo container up, I'll, I'll actually put the inventory script on this. I'm surprised everything's still working with just these turbines. <laughs> Right. Oh, yeah, really? Yeah, because <laughs> normally I have a lot of We haven't even got battery backup on the base. Nope, we don't. We really need to do that. Is his inventory manager should do the job. Okay, should. In the next couple of days, it's just going to quickly look at everything we've got. It's going to work mm -hmm. out how to assign the cargo containers and it will start shifting stuff around. Yeah, see, multi-monitor set up. <laughs> I can edit the wanted. So, computers, I'll put 200 on that list. Construction components, I'll keep that at 1,000 at all times. Detectors, you want 20. Displays, 100. Interior plates, a thousand. Large tubes, a hundred. Medical components we can't build. Metal grids, two hundred. Motors, five hundred. Oxygen bottles, one. I'll leave it there. So as we take stuff out, it should automatically replace them. Awesome. So we don't have to keep queuing components up. I do not still uh, still play the only 900. Seems a bit a little. Um, could change it to a thousand. I'll use a timer block because timer blocks are great for grouping things together when you want to have multiple things happen at a time. Gotcha. Um, In fact, I'm actually going to get rid of this uh, helm. Oh, for it? The helm, the uh, control thing we built. Uh, okay. There's, there's something better that I remembered. Something way better. What do you always want when you want to, like, turn something really cool on? A lever? Uh, a lever? Know, I really... Whatever you want. No, no. If you want to turn something really cool on, like a machine, everybody wants to press a big red button. Big red button, yeah, okay. <laughs> so, I'm building a big red button. Whoa, what sort of delay? Five seconds? Is that long enough to clear the area? Mm, yeah, should be. Right, so. Uh, 
play. Okay, and this block. Five seconds. Actions, groups, grinders, on off. Sound block. Where are you? Stop. And display. There it is. Excuse me. Yeah, it's got it. Grinder start, stop clock. Start. Right, we need to just do a, a quick test of it. Uh, you're lined up. It seems to go backwards a little bit. Just a little bit more. Okay, and lock. No, down, lock. Right, pitch forward. Uh, pitch wait. down. Uh, yeah, you need to pitch down. Pitch down actively, really push your pitch down. No, I'm turning around. Just so drop it. Money. Let it go. Just let it go. Uh, drop really? your lock. No, it's fine. I can do this. Okay. You got it stable now? Oh, I wouldn't say stable, but it's working. Yeah, you're lining up nicely. <laughs> there, but <laughs> not. Straight down. Okay, drop it. Cool, and then park that in there with it. Oh, <laughs> I just started up. <laughs> just hope nothing takes out your shit. Oh my god. <laughs> Goodbye, Harold. At least all of this is going into it, back into inventory. Yep. Oh, there goes a block. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see it. No, I just fired it way out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, oh there we go. <laughs> <laughs> I think we need like a productive, uh, yeah, this is lid. not work. We might need a lid. Yeah. That seems safe. Nice. Right. Shall we do a test run of it without yeah. putting anything in for now? Okay. I'll let you press the button. It's your thing. It's your baby. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So it's just the red button, right? Yep. Everything should be automatic. That alarm is really quiet, by the way. I need to yeah, extend that. Right. Do we want to have the alarm sound all the time it's closing, or is it just the five seconds enough? Probably shouldn't all the time. I mean, yeah, okay. like while it's closing. Yeah, I'll change. Okay, that. well, the grinder already started. Ooh. That's not good. I might need to give it like 45 seconds. Yeah, that's fine. Yep. I'm going to press the button again. Well, it's good that the, good, the grinders turn off straight away. Yeah, yeah. Right, uh, I need to get this welder thing built up. Right, so I'm using the hinge to convert from large grid to small grid. Okay. So I can add a small head. This is where things get interesting. When you're building with a projector, the actual thing you're constructing has to be attached to the, to the same grid as the projector. So this is why I've like done a small grid conversion and then put a small grid projector on and then we'll build a spur 
that comes off it. You know, like when you're 3D printing something, you, you have a spur that comes out, which you cut off. Oh, yeah. At the end. Yeah, we build a spur that comes out, and then when we project your thing, we make sure the spur connects to at least one of the blocks on your projection. And that'll support the whole thing. What's the ball? That's the projector. Yeah. Then we set up your projection on there. So I need a control panel over here. Blueprints. We need a miner more than anything else, don't we? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so it's upside down and way too far over to one side. So it's like an actual hologram, let's see. Uh... Yeah. No, I won't be able to see what I'm doing, so I need you to probably guide me. I'm going to try a pitch. Tell me if it's rotating the right way or not. Um, which one? What is supposed to be the right way? That that was pitch. Which way did it rotate? Uh, um, well, the head of it, the front of it is looking towards the biggest platform to the side now. So that was wrong. Your, I'll try your 90 degrees. Um, did it? Rotate. Okay, it's, oh, it's upside down now. Well, not upside down, but like the front is pointing upwards. Okay, so we go back to that. We try a roll. Is that with the foot facing down? The landing gear yeah. foot thing? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let me just see how far out we are on everything. Do I need to build it from the back to the front? Now, there's a connector on the back here. So mm -hmm. we're going to need to build a connector that faces the same direction uh, on the base somewhere so we can get power and dump resources. So uh, yeah. I can do can, this while you yeah. do this. Yeah, you can put that. Well, I want, I want you to see the whole, I would say here, actually, you know, near where the hole was on the side of one of these cargo containers. Mm -hmm. Ah. <laughs> Did you fall down the other? Can I get some fuel? <laughs> um, yeah, sure. Oh, shit. Shit, I'm still falling. I'm still alive. I'm right at the bottom. <laughs> Never fly over the hole. Ever. Uh, can, you, can you give me my bottle back? <laughs> and then you'll see the projector. You'll see the connector appear to be, like, buildable as soon as I'm in position. Ah, okay. Okay, the, it's not... Okay, now it's showing as well, though. That's good enough. Right, so that'll be the first thing built. So what we need to now do is extend... Yeah. Extend the first piston. Slowly. Mm -hmm. um, oh, I'm going to set all the welders as well to be assisting. So they assist each other. Um, help others. There we go. Okay, then that's they, all up there. Is that, that's near enough as close as you can get. That is like nearly perfect. Tiny, tiny bit more. So maximum distance on this will be or like one meter, maybe less. Okay, I'll set a half meter. Stop. Stops itself. Okay. That is literally as close as you can get. All of this is safe. And all of that's not. <laughs> Okay. Right. Oh my god. It'll build everything it can that's not overlapping to start. And then we move it back a little bit, let it build the next bit. It's awesome, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But you have to just sort of build with this in mind to a point. Um, so then we just retract this one. It's only half a meter. Um, 
minus 0 0.05. Might still be too fast, potentially. I think it's fine. Nice. I think that could be too fast. We'll oh see. The best thing about these builds, they come completely set up. So with this sort of thing, we can batch produce a fleet. Looks like everything's done. Yeah. Cool. It's all oh. the original paint job. Oh, did you stand in the stripey zone? <laughs> <laughs> I, I <laughs> touched the boundary. <laughs> yeah, let me turn the welders off. Now, at the moment, this is also charging the batteries because it's attached oh, nice. to the base. So we just give it some time for the batteries to charge and then it should be good. I'm going to get in the mining ship and connect it there. Okay. Can you cut oh, it off the grid? Yeah, just make sure everything's turned on, ready. Yeah. Oh, it has all the groups in here and stuff. Okay, uh, so that should be all thrusters on. What is what is that okay. circle? Oh, it's camera. There's a parking camera. So I'm just going to grind off the two blocks. When you cut me off. You'll know. Right, you're off. No. Yep. Yeah. When you feel it snap, uh, you're slightly off, I think. Oh. I don't know if you got it. You just need to hit the connection button now. There you go. Okay, locked. Yeah. Engines are. We just need to make a very brief start on this uh, big grid ship. So, I think the first thing, we're going to build off this grid. So, like, we'd place a block and that would be like mm -hmm. the spur, you know, like we did on the printer. That would be like the spur that we cut off so we yeah, can yeah, sit yeah. at the end. Um, but we just need to decide where we're going to start. So, I'm thinking the first places to start would be like where we want the main batteries to be in that. Start in the middle, yeah, at the belly. Oh, we've done it. <laughs> okay. Oh, <laughs> right. Both had the same idea at the same time. Um, we won't weld that. What that. actually? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, because obviously we're going to have hull, so let's say one layer of hull. We don't really need double layered mm -hmm. hull or anything because it's not a combat craft. I mean, it might go into combat, yeah. but it'd be fine. Um, That's why the herald's going to be snapped on the side of it. <laughs> yeah. Um, so the first thing here, I think like batteries because again it'll serve the base for now but it'll also be charging up for when we want to go so i'm going to go with the warfare batteries um just because i've never used them before and they're really cool so i'm going to put a line of these in the scramble pile is hilarious here dude <laughs> huh? the gravel pile oh yeah it's not getting bigger which is good no Right, one, two, yes, three, getting these four, four, five. Uh, one more. Do the line. They're less fun with it that way. Um, if they're grouped up in one lump and something blew up next to them, they'll just all be gone. Um, so, first priority. Do you want to get the back, the, the three closest to you? I've got the three on the other side. Uh, what? The batteries. We need to weld these ones up. Uh, oh, where are they? Possibly. Oh, that's these blocks here. The uh, hey, uh, uh, oh. Oh. what happened to the piston? Where? There. It looks fine. The, what? The, the, they're not in being, line. Are they being weird to you? Yeah, like the second piston is like, oh, okay, just, just bend back down as you bend yeah. there. Yeah. Fucking weird. It's fine. Okay. Um, we don't need these blue box yet. Sorry. Oh, these are batteries. Okay, yeah. I see. So we don't need those. Uh, there's three plates there that we need picking up. So I've, I'll be building the back three. You build the front three. Uh, okay. Just because it takes so many trips to build one of these up. 
it just take forever to try and just do them and then wait. And not most things, we just place them down and then only build them when we really have to, to because they're in the way. Um, mm -hmm. But with batteries, you want them ready early so they can be charged and be useful. Okay, and then what we can do is we can make this, because like there's going to be a whole layer on the outside. So, mm -hmm. gosh, I've still got lots of stuff. So we need we to should probably space. make like whatever we can out of the panels instead of the full blocks. Yeah, certain areas around things like this need to be double armored, so we use full blocks and panels. Um, oh, okay. Because obviously, if you get your batteries and everything shot out, you get no power. Yeah. Right. Um, so stuff like that. Uh, hydrogen tanks need to be well protected, so they should be in the core. Um, well, if you wanted to double layer this, then we probably should have started way up. But no, right. no, it's fine because um, this this block here is a part of the armor, mm -hmm. and then your plate will go on here facing up, and it has all that airspace underneath it. So this is going to be like mm -hmm. our battery wall, and then next to that we we need crawl space. So across here, we need to put some uh, corridor. We might end up replacing one or two of these with like a T section or something, but we don't know for sure yet. And this will just provide access on the lower deck from the front to the back, whilst also doubling up his armor. So if you wanted yeah. to light a corridor otherwise, you'd end up building full blocks either side to create the walls or mm -hmm. using like armor plates. Um, it's a waste of space. It occupies a whole block of space. So I think that with the lights on looks okay. Use your light. Is this retro? Yeah. Oh, yeah, this, the, uh, this block works with fine. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and the outside won't be visible unless we want it to be, but it looks cool if it is. So that is the power core for our ship. This is a 15 gigawatt reactor. This It's got a port on the top and the bottom. Let's see, I would put it actually towards the rear. It's that big. There you can see. All right. Um, right, so that's there for space at least, so we know how big it is. Um, this is how I build ships. I, I like think the components through like what does it have to have, find spaces for everything, and then start mm -hmm. constructing like the shape around that. Um, we need an assembler on board. We have to be able to reconstruct them. Now, this thing is going to be huge, dude. Oh, yeah. I hope there's enough space here to build it. Yeah. There will be. Be. It, as long as the front doesn't bash into the base, we're fine. Now, normally, you'd build something like this in space, but. I want to know that it can do a planetary landing and get back off the ground again. Right, so now we have an assembler connected up and I can use that to attach to the top of the cyclotron thingy. Cyclotron. I like Sorry. that word. I just like that word. <laughs> Are we okay. out of steel plates? I am. Are we completely out? No, no just me. me. Oh. Is there a way to make it so when it's full, it blares it an stops. alarm or something? Uh, uh, even just an alarm. I don't know. I mean, I could just put a big ass screen up, like among the towers or something, with the gra with, with that bar on it, really big. <laughs> and that's it. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. There we go. Data. Cover. Is that big enough to see? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Definitely. I've 
put uh, some stairs here. So like, mm -hmm. if we can make these corridor open out into a room here, these stairs give us access. We pair this or these one, two, three, four batteries. There'll be a couple of batteries that are not accessible at the end, but four is enough to be able to repair in an emergency. Um, if we need to access the other two, absolutely, we could always go through the uh, bulkhead. Oh, that's cool. Why do we need railings here, though? Like, is it going to be an open area here? We don't know yet. I'm planning to have piping and stuff run along the sides of this because uh, we're going okay. to use for hydrogen tanks in here, and a fair few of them. And I'd rather run the piping along the sides of here so we can access it and see, okay. yeah, like repair it. Um, so things we don't need to actually interact with, but we want to be able to access or repair will be off like the tops of places like this. Should, do, we, do we need magnesium right now, by the way? We will when we before we leave. We don't need this very second because there's no hostiles okay. here yet. Um, but by the time we leave here, we'll start to encounter hostiles. So we'll need loads of magnesium for them. No, right. um, so if you wanted to take the miner out, you're welcome to. Yeah, I'll take it for the ship. Yeah. Uh, you got that boulder still marked, haven't you? Mm-hmm, that's why I'm asking. All right. God, this thing turns fucking so fast. Yeah. Just be gentle with it. Just right-click mine the stone out. And just basically try and focus your drills on the magnesium deposits. It will look yeah. kind of a greenish color. Uh, I'm already getting the magnesium, so it's fine. Uh, does it tell me if the cargo is full? I want your screen sheet have a cargo meter on it. It has an or summary, but yeah, it doesn't say if it's full or not. Um, hmm. Okay, if you set yourself down, um, you just press K while you're in the cockpit. You should get your cockpit settings up. Um, yeah. Then go to custom data. Click on that. Mm hmm Okay. Now you should see like at number and yeah. a bunch of commands. Each of those numbers rec represents one of your monitors. So one of your monitors where you know you've got space, just add the line cargo space T colon. Cargo space, space T. Yep, colon. Okay, I'm already on person, so I probably wasted a bunch of things in there. That's good. Good haul. 30k magnesium is plenty. At least for a while. So, as soon as you connect to the base and get landed, um, just watch that screen and you should see it all just pour into the base. Okay, I'm locked. Recharge cool. engines and the flights off. Right. Keep an eye on that screen. You should see the cargo being pulled out. Yeah. Yeah, good. Are you staying on top? Yeah. Okay. Altitude around 350 meters ahead. Right, and you just guide me to the center of the base. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to go dead straight with it. I'm a dead sensor with the foot. Mm, you could go a bit to the back, actually. Uh, am I locked? I'm locked. Yeah. Yes. Uh, you seem fine. Right, do you want to just sit on the rover or the top or whatever? I, yeah, I think I'm safe from the top here. I yeah. you can go. Right, I need you to... Oh, actually, it should be easy, this. Bonk. That fits perfectly as well. Mm. I can like see like the tiny gap. Just oh, it's still, it still managed to what? flunk shit out. Yeah, I told you it goes so fast it might just like penetrate through. Well, 
Yeah. Okay. If you have a load of little ones, like we could just literally pipe them up. Like one, two, three on each side. Like that. Um, well, I want all the piping to run through multiple directions in case we lose a pipe. Actually, what should really be here is the refinery. Because um, that's a big ass thing. Given the idea that when we get there, we want silver, gold and stuff like that. So we'll have to build a mining operation over there. And to carry all of the materials with us, is too much, mm -hmm. it's too much weight. So we're better off building the means to mine it and refine it on the spot. Okay. Um, so there we've already got the assembler to make components. Uh, we just need one refine, one large refinery just to use to uh, refine everything. Um, mm -hmm. So that could go in kind of, it's going to be off center. So it's going to annoy the shit out of you. Yeah, at least. <laughs> but, but if I put it in there as like a roof, um, we don't need to put speed modules on it or anything yet. Um, if I flipped it over, we could put, no, we couldn't flip it over. We could put speed modules on it when we land and it would just make this area impassable. So we'd have to have a corridor uh -huh. around the side anyway. Um, but then on the next to it, uh, O2, we need O2 generator to produce more hydrogen if we need to refuel. And that can literally go. There. I mean, we don't need corridors on both sides. This one can just like corner here and join up with this one, and this one can run through here. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have pipes running both sides of this because these hydrogen tanks, um, they have piping conveyor right on the ends, both sides, mm -hmm. top and bottom. So we could just run pipes through this way and then through from the other side and connect it all back round into the refinery so it all goes back through the middle again. That way, if we lose okay. any one side with the pipe in, it still works. Um, and there's a, there's room here next year, like this gap here, for a second O2H2 gen, so we can keep the hydrogen flowing if we're running out. We always need yeah, to go it. grab some ice from something. If I turn it that way. Uh, does like a O2 generator like actually like make air inside the ship? Like, can you put your visor yeah. down? Yeah, yeah, we'll be able to put a vent. So, like, uh, let's see, vents. Uh, where I would actually put a vent would be there. Okay. So that's supplying air to this whole corridor and anything that's not like closed off. Um, we right. probably want the bridge to be a closed off area with its own air vent. So the bridge would need piping. But if we built the bridge on top, like round the back at the top, we've got conveyor and right at the top already built in, ready for it. We want the bridge to be in the back, like a Corvette? Yeah, I'm thinking like a rear top so you can see over the bow of the ship, then you know what you're looking at, where you are. All right. Um, it makes more sense for situational awareness. We can have cameras on the bottom. Um, and at the front, if you want the front view, you can just go into camera mode. Um, we've got a natural step down here, which we could probably use for something or build more things on there. Um, so we could even put a couple more hydrogen tanks. No, we need oxygen tanks. That's what we need here. GO2 uh, oxygen tank. Have to have oxygen tanks. Jeez, how do I forget? 